So in this video, I'm going to be rebuilding the cob, just new seals and checking it. I've got the head and barrel layer and the piston, so I'll put that into the bike. The exhaust down here, but it hasn't been painted yet. I'm going to get them two screws out the bottom. So that's the two screws slattened. Just tear them out. Just put them over there. Pop the bottom off. to put that in the ultrasonic cleaner and see if this comes off because the seal goes in here I'll just get the pliers that's it there slack so just tear this out see what this looks like there's the seal on it you can see that need washed it photos with threads of metal there I'll put the new seal on there I'll pop that pipe off so it'll fit in the little sun cleaner better. So, with that and that, I'm going to the sun cleaner. And I'll take that little screw out and get the floats out. So, I'll just slatten this screw, put it over there, wherever it was. There's the floats. Just have to work out how, how they come out. Normally they just they just pull out. Oh there, that's it. So that's that out. I've got a little get that out. That's if it comes out. It seems stiff. I'd have to put all that in the so like. I'll take them off because there's a, a seal there what goes in there as well. Take these pipes off. That one goes on there. So I remember that's the car being cleaned, all the white stuff's out, most of it, I'm going to go around and clean it off. I've blowed through that and here's coming out of the blow overflow screw and the part where the pipe fits on as well. There's the part, I've managed to slatten that up, it should just pop out. Clean. It's got loads of white stuff on. The top's ringing in as normal pins do, but I don't know how far one of these springs would be popping out. So I'll just have to try it, and then if anything's anything's wrong with the car when it's running, maybe it's change this. Just clean the end of that. That looks alright. Put that down there. main jet we'll get the main jet out next it's the carb cleaned again and that's as far as it pops out but we'll have a look when the floats go on cleaned in there took the main jet out which is that and it's not plugged <laughs> if you can see through it or not but I'm gonna go through with the cleaner anyway to clean the hole. I've got that off as well. Which is for the petrol pipe to come out of there. It's got a seal on, so we'll put a new seal on. It's glued in, like, you can still see bits of it on there, on the top. I don't know what that is. Yeah, I'm gonna let all this dry before I start doing anything with it, because it's still wet. Be watering and let it all dry. And I'm gonna get the head barrel and piston on now while that's all drying. And I'll just take the S screw out as well before I finish. Be a little metal ring and then a rubber seal underneath that. Let's see if we can get that now. Oh, it's a spring actually. And there's a little black ring out. Metal, there it is. Might just drop out. It has a. Uh, and there's the little metal bit. So we'll put that with that. So I know which size 
see how it fit back onto the air screw when I put it back in. But anyway, like I say, we're going to let all this dry. I'm going to put the head and barrel and the piston on now. So now we're going to put the piston and rings in. I'm going to be putting the barrel and the piston into the bike from the left side to the right. So I'm going to be pushing this into the bike. So I'm going to look at that way. I'm going to be pushing on that way. I need to put the circle up in there first. If you look there, you've got exhaust. And there's the exhaust port. Anyway, I'll put that circle in. That's it. That's that circle in that side of the piston. I'll explain why later. And now we'll get the rings on. And that's a barrel lubed. And that's the two. How I lube them. I lube the ring grooves first before I put the rings on. So they're lubed inside. Because if you don't lube in there, the rings are going to stick. Or they might stick. But anyway. You've got that little ring there that goes on the bottom. And you've got two little grooves exhaust. So they'll be at the back of the piston. If you have a look at the piston and it doesn't have exhaust or a point a point of the exhaust and it's as flat, some old bikes don't have it on and you think which way do the rings go? Always have this notch and this notch at the back of your piston so it's always on, on the back the two notches what the rings nip up do never have it at the front where the exhaust is so that's just a tip to remember anyway we'll get this on goes on like I say it goes on the, the, the bottom ring the second ring down just have that black little thin black ring like that and the two piston rings Sometimes they've got letters on. If they had these haven't got letters on, but if they had letters on, when you put them on the piston, if you were looking at the piston now and looking at the rings, you would be able to read the letters. The letters always face up. That's if you ever have trouble putting the rings on. But these, they're both different. Like a DDR piston. This is the bottom one. Oh, this is the same width all the way around. You can see the top one's beveled. I'll show in a minute. If we get this bottom one on. That's the bottom ring on, nips over that circle. Now we'll get the top ring on. That's how it's beveled. You can't really tell. You can tell by there. You can see, if I zoom in, you can just see see that this end on the right slopes down to this end on the left at the top of the ring. So it's going down like that. So it's like concave sort of thing. So now yeah, we'll get this ring on now. Just nips around. And that's that ring in. The bore's all lubed up. I've got that circle up in there. I'll just go and get the piston pin. So that's the piston pin. And then the bearings. Which I'm going to lube both up with two stroke oil, and I'm only only going to push this pin in half halfway. I'll show why when we're going to the bike. But now, right, <coughs> just work out which way the the barrel's going on. So the barrel's going on that way. So we're going to have the barrel there just. The notches are facing up ways, the two notches on the back of the piston because the exhaust at the bottom. So just 
just a tip I said before. But anyway, nip the nip the rings. It's the best to just because they nip over them. If you can see them, them circles, they nip over them till it's flush, and then they push into your barrel. But the way I've got it, we will get the top ring in first. By nipping it flush over that hole, put the top ring in first because you can grab it at each end here. That's the top one in. Now spin the ring round onto that nipple and just nip it flush over it. That's pissing in. Just push it back down to check the rings. Make sure they're in. And there you can see they're in the grooves properly. Now I'm going to push the piston pin in to this side. It's all looped up. Still tight. I'll just get it to there. Because the little end bearings fit in there within the con rod. Anyway, that's why I've got that there because it's going into the bike like that. Then it's in the bike when the con rods up there, and I'm looking through to line them little bear and bearings up. You can see through here and see the con rod, and then just push it through, and that circle is already in. So you only have to put one circle in. So we'll we'll go and get this on the bike now. And as, as we're doing it this way with the piston like that. Remember to put this gasket on before we fit the piston. So just push the gasket on there. The little end bearings, I've just looped them up again. Just push them into there. And that's it. The pins pushed in, so we'll just let that hang now because we need to get the circle into this side, this side of the piston, into there. But at least that's all on now because when we put the head on, the bolts are long and the bolts go through the head and through the barrel into there. That's why we couldn't get that gasket on properly, but it's on all right now. So that's a circlet one. I've got the head here. What I'm going to do, head goes on that way. Well, that little square at the top. I'm going to put all these four bolts through here. These big long ones. Like that. I'm going to fit the head gasket. And I'm just going to slide all this the way through. Get the camera back a bit. Slide all this with the four screws. It's got the head gasket on. Slide it through here, through these four bolts on the barrel. It's just so I can get the gasket in. This one up here. Just push all them on. That's all them through. I'll just pull all the this gasket over these bolts now so the gasket's pulled onto the big long bolts now so I'll just get a span out and lift it up then tighten this all up and get the torque settings and get the barrel and head on so now I've hand tightened the four bolts just so the barrel's on tightish now I'm going to torque it onto the right torque and just go in a crisscross pattern do this one then do that one down there that's the top on them all of them <laughs> So 
Start the more torque to get the spark plug in and kick it over, see what compression it's got. Start the head torque, spark plug in, just kick it over. There's plenty of compression there. So that's the hidden barrel on. So we'll get the core back together. Get all the seals in the right places. And it should be alright. And we'll put it onto the bike with the air filter. And then the exhaust down there, which hasn't been painted yet. Just left that to last. So we'll get this done now. And that's the floats on. If you can see it at the back, can't really see it. But it's lifting the needle valve up now. <clears throat> so I'll put the bowl on the bottom. And I've just noticed that on the right screw. Like that looks like it's got no threads, but the bowl still goes in, tightens in. That's how I noticed it at the back. Big spring coming out, and when I looked, I seen that bar going across the back. So I just hope that's all right. Plus, is it that one? That's the one I took off there, the floor drain bolt. That's the one they've sent, which is far too big for that. So I'm gonna have to order one of them. That's the old air screw. There's the new air screw. It's a little brass part. The spring in the air screw. So we'll get them on now. And I've put the new seal in the petrol pipe. And I thought it would tighten up, but it hasn't. A bit glue out of it. I don't know why it's been glued. As I've looked, there's a screw hole there. With my thumb. And here, you need one of these to hook around that bit what's been to keep that in, keep that ledge. The screw hole seems alright. So I just hope to still make them. If not, I'll have to just maybe in some gasket around there. So now we'll get the air screw in. I've put the spring on. Then we're going to put this metal ring onto there and then the seal goes on last. So we'll do that now. And that's the little flat washer on with the seal at the end. I'll just adjust this once the bike's started. So we're going to screw this in now into the carb anyway. So that's all that on now with the air screw. Kind of put the floor drain bolt in. That's the carb on. I've just put the float drain screw in. I have to order another rubber seal for in there. On these two, if you remember, one of them had hardly any threads in. This doesn't tighten up properly. So I'm going to have to try and maybe get a longer bolt, get a thin nut and put it in there and tighten it up. Because this isn't tightening. And it's just, it's just going to create an air leak. Screws by hand, look. I'll put the airbox on. Put the throttle cable on. I've got them stickers there, I've got to go on the mud guards. I've got them stickers down there. That's a slack because I haven't tightened the stand up. On the bottom so that's all I can do for now it's that part I've checked what it was in the manual it's just dis discontinued so just, I think I'm gonna have to try and seal that up somehow once I put petrol in because I know it'll leak yeah. that's it up for now when you're back tubing for the back Front mud guards, £120, and the seat covers, 60 40 and £20 delivery. Well, 
I wasn't going to make this video. I was going to wait. It was all finished, but that part. Everything else is on all right. It's a bit dusty. Yeah, it's a stand bracket. It's just wobbly. Two bolts down here. That it's not even in tight, and you can see. And that one, so I'll tighten them up as well. But that's as far as I can get for it so far. So anyway, thanks for watching.